Today, I'm trying out six different silencers, all made by the same person. They're all made of aluminium, except for this one, which has two brass end caps, and that one has one brass end cap. These two here, and that one, the end cap unscrews. The others, they have grub screws to remove the end caps. All have similar baffles inside, few spacers and baffles spaced out but due to the different sizes I don't think it's worth having a look inside. He builds these silencers to customers requirements and as you can see there's a difference in size. The shortest one is five and a half inches at around about 134 millimeters and the width is about inch about 26 millimeters going up in stages all the way up to this large one this one is around about eight and a half inches 210 millimeters long and it's uh, quite wide inch and a half at 36 millimeters the lightest one is three and a half ounces with just over 100 grams and the heaviest one is 13 ounces with 375 grams I shall test fire my air rifle two shots without any silencer and then two shots with each of these silencers going from small to large and see what the noise reduction is like compared to the size. My money is on the big one to be the quietest but you never know. Is it width and length or just length or indeed is the smallest one efficient enough to tame the noise and we don't actually need the extra volume. Two shots without a silencer and then two shots for each silencer just to compare. Let's see what happens. We'll give them a go. Webley FX2000 177 calibre 4.5 millimeter. First, I will do two shots without a silencer. Now, in turn, I shall do all the silencers. First of all, the smallest one. And this one, for whatever reason, is the lightest one. This is the one with the single brass end cap. Now we start to notice a bit of an increase in size. And this is quite long compared to the others. And this is the largest one. Now, that completely surprises me. What do you think about all these? 